Hello everyone, welcome back to another review. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Masters of the Universe Revelations Masterverse Faker. Here he is. So before we get into this uh, review, I just would like to say like, subscribe, share, and comment down below if you guys are enjoying these videos as much as I enjoy making them. And with that being said, let's get on to the review. So before we get into taking a look at this character, I want to go over his accessories. So let's take a look at his accessories. Okay, so starting off, we have Faker's Battle Harness, which is actually He-Man's Battle Harness. So as you can see with the detail here, it has the uh, He-Man H on here, not the classic uh, Iron Cross. And then, you know, you have these red squares. Usually runs down this way as well. Uh, this just this actually came on him. I took it off because I like the uh, Skeletor battle harness on him, which I'll show that when I show the figure. And this just is the standard, just clips in. So this just clips in right here. There we go. It just like all the other armor does, just clips right in onto the figure, just like that. So this is just the extra battle harness actually that comes on the figure. I like Faker with the. Skeletor one there, but anyway, we'll get like I said, we'll look at that in a minute Then he comes with his shield Which is very well done. So instead of it being red here in these squares, we have an orange It's just a regular casted gray plastic and I like the way they did these straps on the back not just one you know square or Like a peg that you would just plug into the hand so they would hold it This actually slides onto the arm and I'll go over that eventually as well he comes with alternate hands. So here we have a closed fist. And then we have another gripping hand. Then he comes with his alternate head, which I'd like to say this is kind of like a uh, homage to the Terminator. So you have half of his fleshiness on this side and then the robotic face on this side. And very well done. I love the way they did this uh, head sculpt. It's not my favorite out of all the head sculpts that he comes with, but this head sculpt here and, and the other one that's on him right now, I love the way they did the uh, highlight brushing with a little darkness, you know, to add a little bit of life to his hair. It's just not all yellow. So, so as you can see right here, you can see the, the texture which is very nice. I love the red eyes. You know, uh, th th this figure has a better face sculpt than the actual He-Man figure itself. And I don't own that figure. It's too Dis Disney-esque looking in the face. Um, I, you know, I enjoyed the, 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 the cartoon and I don't care about all the politics and political nonsense and people not liking it and this, that, and the other. I enjoyed it. But this here, um, I like this face sculpt with the eyes. And the robot, half robot, well, not even half, just part of the robot face showing. So that's pretty cool. And then, and then, you have the full-on robotic head, which is another nice sculpt, too. I don't really care for this. This is more of, uh, reminds me of, uh, I don't want to say the Terminator, but it reminds me of more of uh, Superman. I can't remember the name of that Superman. Uh, steel, right? That's what this reminds me of. So, I mean, it's cool if you like him. I mean, it's a cool head sculpt, but I won't be posing him with this head. All right, moving on. Last but not least, we have his power sword, which is great. As you can see, mine's slightly bent just a little bit, but that doesn't matter. So we have the new power sword and it's casted in orange. Just like, you know, Faker's weapons in the uh, original were casted in orange. If I'm not mistaken, I never owned that Faker, which was all blue. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a bit of a cold, so I apologize. Um, as you can see, I can, I can, you know, an Origins Power Sword to the Revelations Power Sword. This is still my favorite Power Sword. This is a good looking sword, don't get me wrong. Uh, they, they've done some great detail with it. 
you know, they have the brown wraps, like leather wraps around the hilt. You have the orange design, and you have the blood groove going through the sword itself. I mean, it's a, it's, it's great. It's nice. It goes good with the figure. It's very, very nicely done. And now moving on to the figure itself. So, like I said, so here's the battle harness, the Skeletor battle har harness on this guy. Uh, it's just an orange battle harness, which would, you know, Skeletor's is purple. Very nicely done. You have the crossbones in the center section. You have the bat going across the front there, uh, the Hordak bat going across the front. Straps that go around to the back, and then it just, they, they plug in right here to this peg on the back. Very, very nicely done. And then you have his other open hand and then a flat hand here. Um, this is all that mine came with. I don't think he came with other any other accessories. You could pop the hands off. So you could just unplug these and I'll show you real quick if I can get it off. Ah, there we go. And you can actually take the gauntlet off, which is cool. So you don't have to have that gauntlet on there. Same thing with the, the wrist brace on this side here. You can actually take that off as well. I think, you know, with this Revelations figures, the, 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 the my two favorite ones out of all of these so far are Mad at Arms and Faker. I haven't seen Stinkor. I'd like to get a Stinkor. I have not seen him though. I think that Revelations, you know, with some of the characters, they've done a well, they've done a good job with, and some they've just done a great job. Man at Arms being one of them, Faker being the other. And then here's the other head sculpt, not to get off subject. And as you can see, this is just with the red eyes. He's just, he's just cool looking sculpt on this head. And then you have the brown brushing going through the hair to give it those highlights. Nicely done, nicely done. I like the way they did the uh, burned away skin, a little bit of blood on the side here, and then the metal. As you can see, he's just a robot. Yeah, it would have been cool to get him in all blue, but that's just not the way they did him, uh, you know, for Revelations. Revelations, if you, if you watch the cartoon, you know, he had all his skin burned away, kind of like this, to where all the robot parts showed. And then, you know, so, <laughs> yeah. But I think they did a good job with him. Very, very well. Better than the regular He-Man, in my opinion. All right, so let's get into the paint sculpt really quick. So as far as the, the face sculpt, they did a really good job. There's not a whole lot of bleed from the red in the eyes. Like I said, once again, I like the way they did the, the highlights going through the hair to give it a little bit more definition. This is just casted in orange plastic itself, the harness. And then once again, the red lines going for the skin where it has been burned away to show the metallic body underneath beautiful done beautifully done not a whole lot of paint runoff or anything like that moving down to his fuzzy shorts once again his wrestling belt along with his funny sh fuzzy shorts which it's a flexible plastic it's a, you know pliable movable whatever you want to say and then down to his boots once again nicely nicely done as far as the paint deco on this character and his gauntlets, same thing. Not a whole lot of bleed off. Not, I don't really have any bleed off into the brown. Um, I have a little bit right here. Doesn't bother me much. And then his wrist brace, which just casted in like a yellow plastic. So that's that for the paint uh, deco. So let's get on to uh, his articulation. Now his articulation is just as standard as any of the other uh, Revelation figures. <clears throat> Excuse me, but he because of the way his hair is in the back here, and they didn't put him on the you know his <laughs> give him a long enough neck. He can't look up. He can only look down about that much. Head tilt, no. He could turn his head side to side. His arms, once again, there is like on all the others, there isn't a butterfly joint in the shoulders. It's just, I guess, a round ball hinge. So. Yes, his arms can move out to a T pose right to here. And then, you know, he has his bicep swivel and he has double jointed elbows, but they only go that far as far as double jointed. So it's kind of, uh, well, kind of a waste for a double jointed elbow, but it goes up pretty far, I guess. Um, I guess maybe I'm wrong, not too bad. So yeah, he can move his arms up that high. Uh, he has a wrist swivel, 
and his wristband, which actually goes side to side, you know, good for slapping somebody with this open hand. I like this open hand on here because it's better for the shield. Uh, for sword posing, his hand should have gone up and down, but it goes side to side as well. He has himself a bit of an upper torso along with an ab crunch, so he can bend back about that far. He can only move forward that far. His waist, all these figures, they're kind of tight in the waist, but he does have a waist swivel. Legs, he can do the splits about that far, which is not bad, not bad at all. Then he has an upper thigh swivel. And in mine, always when I do this, right, when I bring this out, his legs do not want to go back in. As you can see, they're staying stuck out. So I'm going to have to mess with that later on to see why <laughs> that's doing that. Well, there you go. I had to push up to get it to go back in. Hmm, that's odd. All right. So anyway, he has double jointed knees, which, you know, they go back up that far. Eh, not too bad. He has a boot swivel and then he has his toe hinge, which moves forward that much, moves back that much. And then his side to side rocker. All right. So, with that being said, with all the articulation, let's get into showing him with his weapons. All right, so as you can see, we have Faker holding his power sword in his hand. And just like anything else, it just plugs right into his hand, just slide it in. It's a little bit of a go, that's why I kind of did it off camera. Not too bad, not too bad to show him off just standing here like this. Overall, this figure... I find to be fantastic. Now, as far as putting on this guy here, so as you can see, the bigger right here is for the forearm, and then this is to go over the wrist part. So you can actually take his hand like so, and you can slide it and just pop it on just like that. Very simple, you don't have to remove the hand to do it or anything like that, and then just, there you go. There's Faker with his sword and shield. All right, now I'm not gonna go through the battle, battle harness, swapping the battle harnesses and stuff like that. It's just a typical thing um, to show him with, you know, the, the, the He-Man battle harness or the Skeletor battle harness. Maybe I'll put it on him and do a picture with it at the end. But anyway, as far as posability with this guy, um, just really quick, as you, you know, if you're gonna pose him, Great for just standing here, posing him with his sword and shield like that. You know, just giving him a standard look, put him on a shelf, he looks great. As far as posing is concerned, you know, if you take his arm, put it as so, you'll, you're not gonna get that, you know, I have the power type pose too much with this guy. Um, but you will get this kind of look because the fact that his hand doesn't go up and down which is kind of a shame they, they should have they should have done something with that to where you could have gotten it but as far as battle posing i mean you know you could tip his body back some because he doesn't have that head tilt that's the other thing too it's a crying shame that he doesn't have a good head, head tilt to get him looking up to put him in a, in a battle position but i guess you work with what you have so to give him somewhat of a pose, and I'm gonna try and do this here. Cause I'm not a, you know, I don't do a whole lot of posing. Unless I'm doing photos, then I, I try to put him in poses and stuff like that. But as you can see, you wanna get him into some sort of battle pose. It's all right. <laughs> like I said, I'm not the greatest pose, you know, person of putting figures into poses and stuff like that. Um, they're all right. They do okay. They're not, they're not, you know, the articulation isn't that great for that. I guess if you want to, you know, get them to kind of stand a little bit this way. Let's see. I'm trying guys. I'm, I really am just trying to do something a little different, bring a little bit more fun. I mean, the guy's cool. Don't get me wrong. I do like this figure a lot. I just, like I said, I'm not um, one for doing a whole lot of posing anyway, but yeah, well, <laughs> as you can see, that, that's about the best I'm going to get. I'm going to have to hold him here because he's not going to balance on, on, on this diorama. So that's it. I mean, yeah, 
you can you can pose him um, a little bit. He's not going to get into anything dynamic. Uh, you know, he's not going to get into any like superhero landings. Uh, at least I've I haven't tried. I mean, I guess you could. I mean, you know, get him into one. I don't know. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, he's not going to reach because he just doesn't have that ab crunch, you know? And he doesn't have that head... He doesn't have that look up. But, anyway. Alright, so... That is... That as far as for his... Articulation or posing. <laughs> like I said, I'm horrible at it, so I apologize if that really kind of... You know... Ticks you guys, tick you guys off to watch. Sorry, I'm not... I'm not the amazing or... Uh, Jay Hernandez, who those guys are awesome. Don't get me wrong uh, with when they do their posing uh, Maybe I'll get better at it, but let's take a look at with uh, how he scales with some other figures shall we? All right, so here he is with the 501st Star Wars black series 501st Trooper as you can see he is way bigger than the Star Wars black figures and Here he is with one of my Star Wars black figures. Uh, that, that's one of my favorites. I should say Obi-Wan Kenobi, Revenge of the Sith, Obi-Wan. And once again, he just towers over him. Big figure, big, big figure. So, I mean, you could put him into this world if you wanted to, which is cool. Uh, but he would just be a big, giant robotic monster that's just coming through, you know. So, definitely, definitely, definitely just a, just a larger scale. And here he is with... Revelations Man at Arms and Man at Arms is one is actually my favorite one out of this whole series. I'd like to see a stink or in lie, you know, in, in, in the real world. I'd like to get my hands on him, take a look at him, see if he's worth picking up. He looks really cool, but so far these are the only two that I have, and um that's pretty much probably as far as I'm gonna go, unless the stink or is, is really cool. But here he is with man at arms, anyways. Let me not get on a tangent. I apologize. And you can see he still stands taller than man at arms but otherwise otherwise really really cool very well done guys i hope you enjoyed this review of faker i enjoyed making it please like please subscribe please share please leave a comment down below that way you, you know the youtube algorithm will share you know the the video more and more and we can get more of these videos out there once again thank you so much stay tuned for more up and coming videos if you haven't checked out the disney videos check them out they're just there for fun i like to put those up every once in a while instead of just always have a toy review and stuff like that please check out the coral reef over at the epcot and check out the uh star wars um galaxy's edge i kind of did a montage of everything kind of together so check those videos out if you haven't seen a man at arms review check that out you know i have a bunch of other reviews on here give them a look check them out leave a comment tell me what you think tell me what i can do better on tell me uh you know just give me suggestions if you have any thank you for watching and i will catch you on the flippity flip